a long time since we got this kind of investigation. <laughs> yes, it's very rare for this kind of cases to reach our desk. Trust me, it's gonna get bumpy in this investigation. I can't believe that we are actually doing this. Plus, you are not good with kids also. <sighs> We're here, come on, let's go. Hi, it is Taiwan. I'm Detective Faye, and this is my partner, Detective Ellie. We're here to ask you some questions. Sure. Come in. Let's get straight to the point. Do you know this girl, Miss Kaiwen? Alright, let me check if how many followers today. Hmm, uh, okay, not bad. Let's call my friend. Hello, good morning guys. Good morning everyone. Hey, what's up, Priscilla? Good morning. Hello. Hello. Uh, so, what are we discussing today? Uh? Oh, good question. Today we're going to discuss about fashion. Huh? Fashion? Yeah, fashion. Do you know about the latest trend in fashion right now? <gasps> I would like to share something with all of you. I'm so excited now. What do you want to share with us? Oh god, god, here we go again. <laughs> Ta-da! See, I just bought a few pair of outfit yesterday. I know I would like to get it when the first time I see it. You guys wait, uh, let me put it on and show you guys. You see? What? See? Whoa, 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 whoa. Come down, come down. <sighs> Yo, guys, even though this is so expensive, but I really like it so much. Mm, I like it so much. By the way, this is the clothes that latest trend now and the top sales in the shop. See? Nice not. You see the flower? Okay, okay, Onia. Oh my god, nice not. Um, looks expensive, way. Okay, okay guys, uh, I have uh, something to do, so see you guys next time. Mm. Oh yeah, Crystal, so sorry, I have to go as well. Uh, I'll catch up later. La. Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, oh. okay bye, Crystal, bye. Uh, okay, okay, Ken, Ken, bye, bye. Eh? Where is Kaiwen? Kaiwen, hello, just now you are in the call, right? You saw my new clothes, right? How was it? Nice or not? You know I spent a lot of money on this. Hello? Hello? Hey, I'm talking to you, you weirdo! You're not supposed to ignore me. You know why? Because I'm famous and you are not. How could you say those words to me? What did I do to deserve this? At least you show me some respect when I'm talking to you. I'd always have your back until you got this stupid frame. Why don't you treat your other friends the way you treat me? Treated you? You think all my friends are like you? You're the only one who like to do stupid things to get my attention. You a stupid attention seeker. I'm not talking to you anymore. Bye. Hello? Crystal.
wrong with us? Did I even do anything wrong? How is this my fault? So, what happened to you? Probably jealous of me. She jealous of me. It was you, wasn't it? Huh? What are you saying? Stop lying to me, Kaiwen. Am I an idiot to you? All those hate comment on my post. Why did you do that? What? There's hate comments under your post. Because I'm best friend, I would never do such thing. Then who would do this to me? I don't deserve hate, but you are the only person I suspect because of what you Crystal, did to me last, last time. I don't know who did this to you, but you're my best friend. I would never do such thing to you. And. About last time, I'm really sorry. It was dumb for me to like call your fame stupid. I wasn't in my right mind. I'm sorry. Okay, never mind. I will find out who did this to me. I have no time to waste. I have to get ready for my live stream. Okay, bye. Bye. Good morning and welcome to the Daily News. Today, we bring you updates of the National Opt-in COVID-19 Vaccination Programme. On the 2nd of May, within 3 hours, 268,000 people from Selangor and Kuala Lumpur fully booked all doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine. They registered on a first-click, first-served basis via the Jawatan Kwasa Hash Jaminan Access Vaccine COVID-19. The first day of the opt-in in AstraZeneca COVID-19 Vaccination Programme went smoothly. The Minister, Kari Jamaluddin, said this opt-in program for the AstraZeneca jab will soon be opened up to the whole country through registering in the MySejatra app. On to the next news. The abolishment of UPSR and PD3 in the Malaysian educational system. Many citizens are shocked with the announcement. They demanded answers from the authorities. We have two guests online with us here today to give their views. Do you think the abolishment of the UPSR affects the standard of Malaysian educational system? Yes, as we wouldn't know where their standards are. I don't think so because there are still other government examinations to maintain the standard. 
do you think the primary school students will have less motivation in studying? Most likely students will be less motivated as there's no goal for them to achieve. Depending on how the exam system would work, also the student itself. Will cancellation of PD3 this year affect the students to choose their course in their upcoming studies? For me, yes. Students not knowing what their strengths are. Um, no, because students shouldn't be limited from choosing what they like. Thank you for your time. According to the Senior Educational Minister, Dr. Razi Jidin, the abolishment of the UPSR will open doors to shift the attention to talent development. Let's hope all the best for the teachers and students. I'm Connor. Good day and stay tuned to our next news update. Am I doing the right thing? Why am I even apologizing? Is this too much? No, she deserves this. She deserves all these hate comments after how she hurt me. Hi! Okay, welcome guys to my live stream. And so today I'll be going to introduce a new product that I bought yesterday. Okay, so stay tuned and don't go away. Okay? What you want, Kai Wen? Why did you say that in your live stream? What did I say? What did I say? I always supported you, but you never care for me. You treat me like a stranger. I only ask my followers to follow you because you know why? Because you have so little followers. And now you are jealous of me because of I'm famous and you are not. Please, 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 look into the mirror and tell me what you see. You know what I see? I can only see I can only see someone ugly and who can never be good enough for herself. You think I'm jealous of you? Look in the damn mirror, who's the one who's seeking for attention? Who's the one who cannot stand a day being validated? You think I'm jealous, ah? Crystal, I thought that we were best friends. Now I'm just sad for you. Look at you now. You only care about your stupid fame. You're a selfish human being. 
I'm very disappointed in you. Okay, Kai Wen, I'm wasting my time now and I don't want to talk to you. Okay, whatever. Bye. Hello? Crystal! You can start slowly if you want. This is not working. Don't get look at her. What is so fire? You know what? Don't waste our time. We can send it to the Jew if we find you guilty. You really want to do this, huh? Fine! I'll play your game. You'll be spending the rest of your life rotting your goddamn self. But I think it's fine. Because you're one of them. You're Okay, it's a step. Let me have that one. Hey. I promise you that we are just going to help. We want to help you and your friend. If Crystal is really a friend, help her. Hello? Hello? Crystal? Uh. Mm, yes? Crystal, I'm so sorry for calling you this early because I feel so guilty that I shouldn't talk to you like that that day. And like, I should just agree that I'm not as famous as you. I'm sorry and I hope that you can forgive me. <sighs> okay, finally you know where your problem is. Hey Crystal, I swear I won't do it again. Okay, it's okay. I'm not going to argue with you anymore. And luckily, you know where your problem is. We can still be friends. But the first thing is you must know where your place is. Thank you, Crystal. You're kind. I'm so glad to be your friend. By the way, I'm really happy to see the number of followers on your Instagram. Oh, okay. Thank you. Anyway, I hope you can be better than before lah. Okay? Thank you, Crystal. By the way, I need to go now. I have some emergency on me. Okay. So, bye. 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 Ever since the COVID pandemic hit Malaysia, everyone has a social distancing bubble around them. Due to the SOPs that were implemented, 
Sean is terrified and decides to stay at home. Even during his grocery shopping, he avoids everyone. Once the vaccine has finally been developed, people start to register on Mysore Jatara. Unfortunately, Sean still chooses to live in denial. One day, he then sees his group of friends hanging out without him as he hasn't been vaccinated. Sean feels lonely and left out. He then reminisces about the good old days and wants to relive it again. In the end, Sean decides to take the vaccine and is finally free from the social distancing bubble. I want you to lose everything. I want you to suffer. I want you to suffer. to you You blind is it a lot of hate comment below my post <laughs> What did I do what should I do I mean you're so famous of course there will be hate comments right Aiya small matter only you able to handle it la <laughs> Why why are you acting like there's nothing happened You should comfort me, one right? I mean, yes, I am your best friend, but what do you want me to comfort you on? Oh, you wanted to be famous, then of course there will be hate comments, right? What did I ever do to you to make you treat me like this, ah? Huh? No, ah, you didn't do anything to me. How am I treating you right now? Haiya, this is no big deal lah. You can settle it yourself. I got other things to do. Bye. Wait, Kai Wan. Why not she tell me? My reputation is going to be ruined, and no one will like me anymore. Why is this happening to me? My life is done without followers and reputation. Why is this happening to me? Why? How can this happen to me? Everyone is leaving me and no 
don't care about me. Even he's my best friend. <laughs> Everyone is so fake, so fake, so Is this the end for me? Why is everybody treat me like this? Why is everybody treat me like this? I don't want to die this young. There must be another way. There must be another way. Miss Cowan? Miss Cowan? Miss Cowan? Are you okay? Miss Cowan? Are you okay? Tell me, Cowan, what exactly happened? It all started when I was on the call with Crystal and her new friends. You know why? Because I'm famous and you are not. There was this understanding between us and things escalated from there. He started criticizing me and I took it personally. Guys, feel free to follow her Instagram. Oh, but she's not pretty like me. <laughs> My ego got the better of me. And I created tons of fake social media accounts to cyberbully her. To bring her reputation down because it means a lot to her. I I thought that once she lose everything, we could be back to normal friends. But I didn't know that this would eventually happen. Crystal, I'm sorry. Please come back. I'm sorry, Miss Kyron. You are under arrest for the provocation of Crystal's death. Please follow us. <laughs> 